Hi everyone, um, this is Louise. I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to go from this lovely picture of my foot to this um, lovely picture that you can use on your blog. Um, I love stock photos and I love text and I love when you combine them, so this is what I want to show you. Um, so you start with this picture. I'm going to make a new layer on top of it and we are going to use the paint bucket tool and just make it all white. We've got that, uh, now we're going to make our text. Um, I am using white text which is not very good. Uh, one of the best things about text is you go up here and you get your character little window. Um, here you can basically control everything. So first let's set the color to something Right, red. Um, see if that works. Oh, yeah, black. Be black, dark. We've got some dark color. You can pump up the size here, which is something we're gonna do. Yes. And we're gonna put. This is quite important. You want to put the this, which is called a kerning, to optical. It is the space between the characters. Um. And we're going to use something big and chunky. One of my favorites, Bevis now. Good. So this one says no. And we're going to pump it up even bigger. That. Bigger, 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 bigger. Until we have something absolutely huge. Bit more. There we go. Put that a bit there. Yeah. And we are gonna um, and then we are gonna write underneath it, make a new layer and write regrets. Now you see this is just as big as the other one. Just go in here and maybe a hundred. Hundreds is a bit too big, or too small. <laughs> How about 200? Too big. 180. Better. How about 170? This is usually what happens. 170 looks good. Don't forget to put an optical. Did you see what happened there? Went metrics to optical. We want optical. Metrics uh, makes the kerning be the exact um, metrical spacing between each but what we are looking for is the optical one so um, now we want to take these two um, if you go here to the right corner and you select both layers by putting in holding in control or command I guess on your Mac I'm a PC you know um, so you select them both and then if you've got your uh, move tool selected, you will um, see up here some things that can help you. So if I press these, you will see that they all end up together, which we don't want. So control Z that. What we want is this one so that they look together, or if you want them to be spaced like that, like that, I want them aligned in the middle. Get them aligned in the middle like that. And I'm going to also press Control G. That makes that into a group. Now, uh, what we want here is to take the background, right click, duplicate layer. Okay, background copy. I'm going to move that up over the group. Um, and there's my foot again. And I'm going to uh, right click it and you come up with all this stuff here we're gonna press create clipping mask look how easy that was that basically uh, makes that into you can see through it you can move this around if you'd rather see my foot and have it down here but I kind of like it there well you could basically move it around wherever you'd want it 
You could write something else if you want. But I like it up here. Get this nice shade. Now, um, if you want to have a good um, uh, place for the text, you go, you press Control A, which will select everything while having the group layer selected, and then you go up, oops, up here again, and if you press this one, it will center itself in the middle. If you press this one, it will be very centered. We don't want that, so we just okay. Um, so we just move this up a bit there. If you move and hold in shift, it won't. Uh, it will stay on the same line. So there. Um, that's how I like it. But we're gonna do one extra thing. Uh, so you take this background copy again. Right click, duplicate layer, background copy two. Release clipping mask. There it is again. Now Control T transform while I'm pulling down in the corner and holding in shift so we don't change the proportion of it go down make it a bit smaller something like this again control T flip it around uh, so if you take control T if you just move the arrow around but your mouse over there you see that little bendy arrow press hold sh hold shift and then move it over, you see, and you move it 90 degrees. Enter. And again, Control A in the middle. It was in the middle. How perfect is that? Control D is deselect. Control A, select all. Control D, deselect. And there you go. How? Look, that's almost the same. Almost the same. What's. Uh, uh, I'm wondering. So yeah, there you go. Um, so here we have the base. Um, you can of course play around with this as much as you want. Um, but before saving it, I would recommend you to resize this because this is a pretty big size. Um, the shortcut is Control Alt I, Control Alt I. And um, the width of my blog is about 700 pixels, so that's usually where I go to. Um, you can also go, um, so the resolution is 300 pixels an inch is for print. So if you're not printing and um, having it for the internet, you can just put 72. But as you saw, stuff changed there, so don't forget to get back to the amount of pixels you want. So I go with 700 pixels width and uh, 72 pixels in resolution and press OK and there you go and there you go back to 100% no regrets my lovely foot uh, yeah um, that's um, that's how you do it it's very quick this took me about eight minutes I just wanted to show you um, some other things that I made using this technique. Here's a really simple squid one. It says champagne. Got some uh, glasses, kind of soft looking thing in the background. Um, this uh, squared thing is something that would be very good for your Instagram. Um, here's also this one, don't care, um, which um, is a very blurry picture, but I've used, so it's like a, the, instead of white, I've used a blurry picture. Um, and of the the actual picture underneath it and then just used this font on top of it. I think this font is called Blackout. Um, and this one Forever Young. So it's just very simple. This is, I'm pretty sure, Georgia, uh, the font, and just very simple. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's how you can do that. And I hope you go to my blog, Constancia.com. And so that's K O N S T A N T I A dot com. And I hope you check out my blog, look at my stock photos, which will be up in April. And I hope this helped you so you can make some pretty cool things. Thank you. Bye.